Hey everyone and welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos. This video will serve as an informatory video on basically for those that are interested in Ubuntu, uh, maybe you've never heard of Ubuntu before, or maybe you've been uh, basically linked to this video to give you an idea of what Ubuntu is. This video will cover the points of what it is, uh, why you should use it, where to get it, and the migration or the steps that you will need to go through in order to set up your own uh, Ubuntu on your computer. So let's go ahead and begin. As far as what Ubuntu is, it is a Linux. Uh, for the most part, Linux has been looked down as very non-user friendly, as in not a lot of people like it. Uh, but recently, or six years ago when Ubuntu came out, and many other Linuxes as well have revolutionized the desktop and how to use your uh, desktop as a whole. For the most part, as you can see, this is the desktop. You still have folders and files and such like that. Uh, the simplicity goes to many different levels, but as far as visually, you can see uh, how to get to your stuff already. In the top left, we have applications, basically all the applications on your computer, everything from calculators, a bunch of games, graphics like editors or photo managers, internet, Firefox, everyone's favorite, uh, open office for documents and spreadsheets and presentations, programming, uh, Stellariums to look at the sky, all these applications are available. Uh, Brazero Disk Burner, a basic disk burner for your computer, uh, movie players, video editors, sound recorders, and so on. All of these can are either available with Ubuntu or you can be downloaded through the Ubuntu Software Center. And this is one of the greatest parts. Software can be downloaded with one click. You don't have to go to websites, you don't have to look for anything. Just basically have an idea of what you want and there's a description and you have a bunch of different things you can use uh, image editor right here this is basically a website editor so it's kind of off here and there but there's another one a paint program and so on and so forth it's very useful to have this as uh, simplicity goes users can simply look what they're looking for and a, basically a set of options come up and of course we have Facebook as well Facebook stuff as far as that goes, uh, that's the simplicity of applications, how to organize them and how to install them. So that's, I mean, that's already as simple as it can get, you know, it's except uh, like in Windows when you will, of course, download EXEs online and figure out how to turn them on and then go through all the options and, you know, just install it. As far as your files go, they're in the places area. Uh, very simple idea and name. Places are the places on your computer. Uh, home folder is where all these down here reside. A desktop, documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads, and so on reside in this home folder. And you can there's these are basically bookmarks that you can go to straight to music or straight to pictures or straight to videos and so on. So that's basically your uh, idea of you know getting into your files. And here we are the video browser as we can see very simple you have a preview of all the stuff you can go into pictures as well we can go into many different pieces of the computer and get a glimpse of the information we have just a basic file manager as far as the system goes this is where you would uh, make basically changes to your computer uh, not a lot of people use this maybe you have to use this a few times from the start of the computer so you can kind of set up your computer but once you've set it up you really don't have to go here but as you can see, this is simple, very simple. You can change IM statuses right here in this little menu. Change the account information, broadcast accounts, Ubuntu One. You have a little uh, system manager for a few information such as your music player, wireless, uh, battery, Bluetooth, video, and volume. And even a message area where your mail can be kept track of as well as broadcasts and messengers. And of course, on the very right, you have your simple shutdown, restart, and so on. Uh, so there you go one of the reasons why the second reason is customizability now for the most part Ubuntu looks like this uh, Pictures a bit big. I'll go ahead and do this. All right. This is what Ubuntu looks like uh, This is from the very clean installation. You have of course the simple me menu over here as you can see though I've moved stuff around uh, this name here uh, the, the date I've put it over here so I can move stuff around on the bar itself in fact, this is the window switcher, and I have it in the middle up here, and I've actually added more windows. The window switcher basically gives you different workspaces uh, where you can switch different areas, and you can have multiple windows open in each part, and basically separate them if you want by internet, um, music, media, graphics, and internet, or 
games or whatever you want to do. It's basically a very good way to organize yourself for these methods. So this is what it used to look like and you can notice al already that the bar on the bottom is different from what's given to us from the start. Basically you can simply right click and delete panel once you have multiple panels. The last one you cannot delete but you can delete the panel and replace it with something else. It's just that simple. And of course there's different applications available on different things to do for uh, your computer and different customizabilities. As far as anything else goes uh, you can change the a lot of things. You can change uh, backgrounds, of course. Uh, every computer has to be able to change your background, otherwise it's kind of locked up. Uh, we can do graphic stuff. We can do very good graphic effects. As you can see right now, the windows are simple, nice and solid. Uh, once this loads though, uh, we go to Extra. And we enable a certain, uh, first we have to search for drivers, and this is, brings me to another point. Drivers are installed very easily. Uh, as long as you're connected to the internet and you do an update, all drivers are identified and they can be installed very simply through the system, administration, and hardware drivers. Basically, click. Before I do start uh, the actual graphics for the extras, I have to give you a little warning. It'll be a little fast. Uh, my graphics card and the video recorder that I'm using uh, don't agree very well. Uh, as far as actual stability but you will see everything that's going on it'll be, uh, probably be a bit faster than it's supposed to uh, but it, you'll see what's going on first of all when I click on the extra I'll show you a little bit of a wobbly window your window will start wobbling left and right then I'll show you cubes and burning windows and windows um, folding into paper planes and a bunch of other things that you can do with your computer so here you go I'll give you a little presentation now So that's it for graphics. There's a lot more to see, but I don't have time to show you everything. But that's a little glimpse into Ubuntu and its graphic effects. So maybe I've wowed you by now, got you a little interested in Ubuntu. So let's get started on how we can get you into uh, the system. Uh, basically, a few things before you install it. A few more things to kind of give you a bit of a reason to use it. There are no viruses for uh, Ubuntu. Therefore, no antiviruses, so you don't have to worry about viruses or anything stealing your identity. Uh, spyware, all that stuff is a thing of the past. Uh, it's just really, really hard to program viruses for Ubuntu, and therefore, uh, hackers are discouraged from even starting a virus. So there are no viruses. The last virus was in 1994, which is actually a joke. It wasn't even a real virus. As far as that, all of this that you see here is free, completely free to you, no charge, Ubuntu, and all the applications and all the things you see are free. How do you get it? Go into your favorite web browser, go to www.ubuntu.com, and basically download Ubuntu and download the screen all button here. Burn that uh, download into a CD with a image burner and you're done. A few more tutorials, of course, to kind of get you an idea of what to do. Go to www.youtube.com slash cjay554 and here I have my own channel that teaches you everything from the beginning of Ubuntu from the simple installation to the desktop to the customization to the graphics and so on. With this, these videos it will give you uh, a very good idea of what is to expect from Ubuntu. 
and what it is and basically how to use it. So thank you for watching. I hope this encouraged you and inspired you to kind of take a peek at the system. My name is Chris and I will talk to you later. Bye.